Yo, 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 what up guys? It's back again for another video. Before we start the video, just to, uh, hit the like, share, subscribe. We're just here at uh, Riverston Police Station. We asked some questions about making a formal complaint with um, about an officer. So, let's get into it. First night audit, so let's see how it goes. See what the go is here. That's their back entrance. Is it? Yep. Looks like back entrance to the police station. That's the old station from back in the day. Very old. It used to be the only station that was only building that was here before. A tiny little backyard. But now she's turned into this big big building. It's uh press record on the body cam. <coughs> Gotta say hello. One flagpole as well, but fuck me. I don't know why they don't have more flagpoles. But, um, the outside of the police station. First time I've done a night audit, so it's a little bit different. And Riverstone Police Station. So, a little quick walk up here and then we'll head inside to make a complaint on Detective Lee Ball. Probably be a quick video, not a long one, but we'll um, go in and see what they have to say. Just the outside of the police station. And let's go in and make a complaint. There's a look, they're always watching us while we're watching them. Authorised personnel. Riverston Police Station. Public area. No. Some pamphlets. Some advertising. On a notice board. Same stuff that's in every police station, I guess. Oh, there's always one of these, but it's lost yet. Old Cheeto. Just pause it while there's members of the public in here. Where have we got here? Crime stoppers. Never ring the police. <laughs> Fuck that shit. But it's all good. I'll say out here until members of the public um get out and then we'll go in and make a there's the crest, and there's our fire police force. 
can anyone in the chat tell me what culpam comes and Riverston and whatever that other boat Poenta what that, what that there means I wouldn't have a clue what that means it is um Oh, cops coming in there, being hot air. There you go. Officer, um, how do I make a complaint about officer from this station? Uh, I can go and speak to a sergeant. Which officer are you? Uh, oh, when I speak to a sergeant, I'll let you know. Um, do, you have a, do you have a form that I can get to fill out? I'm actually not sure. Let me go and find oh, it. Right, no worries. Alright, so does, thank you. It's going to take for him to come out and talk to me about the complaint.
what the fuck? Don't do BTQ, BTIQA plus. There you go, auditing Australia. Constable Double Doyle, W Doyle. Yeah. I'm on, I've got all night. Want to get this over and done with. Pretty quiet in here. Quiet little station. It's a big station, but quiet little lobby area here. I'll right, just pause this for a sec. Remember the public coming in. Officer, I'm just out the front here. Just like members of the public are in here. Uh, wait for the sergeant to come out and so I can make my complaint get the side, uh, Detective Lee Ball for smacking my camera my recording in public How you going, Sergeant? I was just waiting out here while members of the public because I'm recording and I don't want to get none of their personal information. Um, how do I make a complaint on our officer from this police station? Oh, 
I'll get you the information. Complaint form? Right. Yeah, it's all done in writing. Yeah, 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 that's right. It's just I tried to make the complaint at the, the day that it happened at yeah. Blacktown Station because that's where it was at, Blacktown Police, yeah, at the no, front of Blacktown Police Station. But he was from here. Yeah. And they said they, I can't make a complaint in person, like in, yeah. on paper. Because I don't do it online, I'd rather do it on paper. So then I've got, like, there's, because yeah, 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 yeah. emails and all, all that online stuff. No, nah, because I spoke to um, a superintendent, a chief superintendent from Maryland's police, yeah. and he said you can do it in the station on paper. Okay, what, so, and well, I'll just give the information. You can also do you have a form that I can fill out and all that, and then I can drop I back or? He said, the Chief Inspector said there was. I don't do online. Does he fucking have to give ID? Put your name on the portal or it won't go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the old school way, we don't generally do it that way, but if you're more than happy to do yeah, it. Yeah, you still can do it that way. That's what the chief, yeah, so I chief inspector said. We don't particular forms, but what you do, you write a letter to the commander on the times and dates and who you're complaining about, yep. and then bring it in, and we're happy to submit it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Because you don't want to do it online. You no, 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 because I tried to do it online and it sends you all through all these different okay. avenues and then but yeah, you it, it, it wouldn't let me make the file a complaint without putting my name and all of that down. You need like to I'd rather, no, so no, you can make it anonymous and I can leave an email oh, and, and then when it's investigated, I can leave an email yeah. and then when it's investigated by whoever does the investigations okay. on that officer and if, if if they need me to come back in or whatever so you know then they happen. email yeah they email me and then this is what the chief inspector said and they'll okay. email me and then i'll come back in and if it's going to go somewhere i'll give them my name okay but so I, I, I don't have to, that, to you do it anonymous yeah it's up to you you uh, might be able to speak to them so who um who is detective lee ball's um supervisor that, the supervisor for him uh, could I get his name or the name of the commander or, or and that written down you, for you me? Can just, you can just address it to Riverston Police Commander, which is uh, Scott Bingle. Scott Bingle, it's on here, so yeah. it's all right. Okay. Yeah. So, but you just put Riverston Police um, Commander. Commander. Okay. okay. Yeah. And you can bring, if you want to do it all on the paper, write it out however way you want and, and speak to the staff here and we will get handed to you. Or put it through the okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. But that's the right Cause it, cause way to it, do it. Because he hit, hit me, camera play, he blasted out and hit my camera. Yeah, I tried hitting him out of my hand okay. while I was recording on a public sidewalk out the front of the Blacktown oh. Police Station. So, so for, for, for him to do that and then laugh yeah. about it, that's what I thought I've got. I've got to make a complaint. So Up to you how you want to go about it. So I'll just write, so I'll, I can type it up on, on a computer yeah, and then write it bring down, in. Or you can email it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yep. We can ring that. Is the email address on there as well? No, nah, I'll get you the email address for... Yeah, yeah.
So you can email it to riverston at police.nsw.gov.au. Yep. That's our commander's name. Okay, awesome. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank right. you for being Other so than polite. That, you can do all that, give that a go. Thank you very much, Miss. Thank you for being so polite. No worries. I don't always get that reaction, so no, it's because okay. I'm, I'm recording. They they seem to not like the recording, but Doesn't it's legal me. and we're allowed to do it. So me. yeah, thank you very no, much, I, Miss. And what was your name again? Simpkins. Simpkins. Yeah. Thank. I appreciate it, eh? Yeah, no, that's okay. Thank you very much. Right. See ya. Right, have a good one. Well, there you go, guys. You can um see how polite. Some officers can be when um, record, being recorded. That's how they all should be. And I appreciate that from Sergeant. And I think um, that'll end this video. So I hope it's um, informative on how to file a complaint on an officer. And we will go from there, I guess, guys. All right, um, let's just go down and record these police cars for a little bit and then move on from there, eh? We'll end this video very shortly. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. And... We've got RI 36, RI 16, Riverston 16. And this is the old station. All right, everybody. Don't like to do a long video, but oh, what have we got on the what have we got on the screen here? Should be closing those screens there. People's private information on the screen. I think I'm going to have to go back in there. Let's go back in there and um, just let them know. Let them. Um, People's private information on the on the computers. Just want to quickly let them know. It's, it's a no no. Just another thing, um, there's two police cars sitting at the front there. Um, they've got their computers open and facing the sidewalk. And it's got people's private information on the computer, so I thought I'd let you know. So just in case somebody's recording, they can get all that private information. All right, no worries. Keep them accountable and Let's hold these guys accountable. Close the screens on your computers. You don't want people's private information getting out there. So we should record it for a little bit longer to see if they come out and do something about it. If not, we'll see what happens. See you guys, I don't always use um, foul language and swear in my videos, it's just um, I treat people the way they, they they treat me. So, and especially police officers, I treat them the way they treat me. If they're unlawful, I'll give them a mouthful. But when they're pleasant and polite, I appreciate it, and I'll give them the same energy back. But apart from that, it's um, come on, guys. Can't leave these computers open, eh? It's a no, no.
an apple joint. There's so many calls that they've had, recent calls, I guess. But all these vehicles have got something wrong with them. They've got trims hanging off the side, and they're just not looked after. Taxpayers pay all this money for these um, police cars, and then they um, yeah, they don't look after them. I know that all on the taxpayers' expense. But other than that, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. You know what these guys are like. They won't come out and do anything about the information on their computers. Even though it's got addresses, it hasn't got no names, but it's got addresses of the offence. And it's people's houses, the people's private information, the addresses left out in the open for members of the public just to read. It's not a good thing, you know. But, all right, guys, peace out. Have a good one.